Hello knitters, Barbara Benson here. I'm an independent knitwear designer who also likes to make videos here on my YouTube channel, Watch Barbara Knit. If you'd like to know more about my knitwear designs, please check in the description below. And there you will find a link to my Ravelry page where you will find all the patterns I have available for you to get and knit up for yourself. Also in the description below, you will find a couple of other links. One is to the Watch Barbara Knits Facebook group. I'd love to have you come over and join us so that we can continue the conversations we start here on the channel. And also there is a link to my Patreon page, which is sort of like a tip jar for YouTubers and other creators. If you like what I'm doing and would like to chip in a little bit of monetary support, please click through and see what you think about that. And the links below are going to be amazingly full today because I have for you all of the awesome stuff that I got at TNNA this year. Now, I'm going to mention, um, you probably are like, Barbara, you sound funny. And I know I do. I currently have a sinus infection. Um, and so there might be some weird editing because if I start coughing... <laughs> like that. I'm probably going to edit it out if I go a little crazy, but I'm going to try to keep it. It's just one of those, I sound funny. So what is TNNA? I thought I'd mention for those of y'all who don't know, TNNA is the National Needlework Association. And when people say they went to TNNA, what they're specifically referring to is one of the two trade shows that occurs every year. There's a winter show and a summer show. And I went to the summer show, which was in Cleveland. And it was absolutely amazing. It is a trade show, which means it's only open to members who are professionals within the community. And primarily what that means is all of the yarn and notions and tool type companies, the companies that, that provide the things you need to knit, or crochet or weave or do needlepoint like embroidery and all that kind of fun stuff and um, attendees are typically the your um, yarn store owner it's where your yarn store owner goes to see what's new and exciting in the needlework industry and also um, the reason I went is because I'm a designer and I was signing my new book <laughs> big yarn, beautiful lace knits, but that's not what this is about. Um, I was signing my book and what it was is I was signing it for yarn store owners so they could get a look at it and decide if they want to bring it into their store. So it's just amazing to walk around. I have stuff to show you that I brought back, but I also made a little video on the floor of a couple of particularly intriguing booths that will be after um, I have, I want to show you all my stuff. Uh, the first thing I have is actually, uh, this is kind of going to be like a hybrid video because I've got this, which is sort of an unboxing. And then I have like haul stuff to show you and then I have like tour stuff. So you, so it's just exciting. It's going to be a little bit longer than usual, but I hope, um, it's fun enough. So this was a uh, gift that was brought to me by one of my colleagues and the owner of Stitch Sprouts, Heather Zapetti. Um, she is fantastic. She owns the Stitch Sprouts, which is the distribution company that distributes my paper patterns. So if your uh, local yarn store wanted to carry like physical paper copies of my patterns, they would go to Stitch Sprouts and they could get them there. Um, she also has beautiful yarn and does really interesting notions. And apparently she picked this up at the winter TNNA and has been hanging on to it. She meant to mail it to me to open up, but you know how that goes and push comes to shove. And then you're like, ah, I'll be it. I'll see her in a month. So we're going to see what's in here. She wanted me to open it on camera. So that's a little terrifying. I'm wondering what's in here. You know, 
you know how I am about bags. This is Impware Home, and it's sock monkeys, but it's not just sock monkeys. It's a sock monkey and a sock fox and a sock chicken. <laughs> That's awesome, and there might be something else in here, but this is, it's got, and it's got this really interesting, um, I don't know, it's squeaky. I think it's probably waterproof, which is super cool. And we'll unzip and see what's in here. Um, ooh, bending. Patented ergonomic bendable kneading needles. Flexi knits. B bendable straight needles. So that is really cool. I'm gonna have to see this. See, this video is gonna spawn a lot of other videos because I got stuff I gotta try. So these are the flexi knits. I'm gonna try those out. What else is in here? <laughs> this is an ongoing thing, stickers. Look how cute they are, tiny kitties. Oh my goodness. Oh no, they're, are they hamsters? I think they're hamsters. Ooh, that's even better. Look, there's a little hamster in his wheel. Come on, focus for me. Oh, so cute, and a ham in a teacup. Oh my goodness, these are just beyond cute. Oh, this one is his butt, hamster butt. <laughs> Love them, oh my goodness. Oh, and here's more about the flex knit. Okay, so this is definitely something I will have to do a video on me trying out these interesting new flex needles and see what happens and my stickers so I can send things to people. It's super great sock monkey. Oh, it's beautiful on the inside too. Look at that. So that is Impware Home. I will have to Google that and I'll put a link below to all this stuff when I learn more because I didn't know it was in here. So this is all learning. Thank you so much, Heather. I love mystery packages. Oh, sorry about the snorting. <laughs> oh my goodness. Thank you so much. So, thus ends the unboxing portion of the program. Actually, I have another sort of unboxing because I haven't had a chance to look at the cool stuff I got from Barocco. Barocco had a beautiful exhibit and I went and talked to them because I have like three pieces in the book, in my new book, in their yarn. And so they have new yarns. So I might, let's look at these yarns and you all can tell me in the comments below which ones um, you want me to swatch. So let's see here. Um, let's see here. So this is Arno. It is 57% cotton and 43% merino wool. And it's a single, which is very interesting and unusual. Or it might, I don't know. It's got a very interesting structure. I'm not sure about that. I mean, I'm not sure exactly what it is. I'll have to go more in depth. Look at this. Because I'm in the bunk of yarns. Coco. This is 100% merino wool and it's like a, um, it's a single but it's got a little wrap around it so that's really interesting. Sesame. 43% wool, 39% cotton, 9% acrylic, and 9% nylon. That's yeah, super interesting. Focus for me. So that one's really interesting. I, the nylon's going to be there's like little boogie booglet things. There's little puffs and stuff. So that's interesting. We've got Providence, which is 65% merino wool, 20% baby alpaca, and 15% silk. Ooh, it's a nuppy one. It's got some really cool little inclusions. Ooh. Nomad, this is 72% merino wool, 28% camel hair. And it's got a really interesting texture. And I believe that one of the yarn store owners that I talked to about my book is knitting sh the new pattern in my book, Shoot the Moon, in this, which is super interesting. It's black, so I'll have to knit it on a light needle, but that is cool. And then we have Pirouette which is 41% baby alpaca, 41% merino wool, and 18% nylon. That's an interesting blend. And it's another, it's an interesting, it's like a bucal, bucal, whatever you pronounce that. It's got the flubities on it. So we've got pirouette, nomad, cocoa, sesame. You're not really seeing these labels, sorry. Uh, Arno, 
and Providence. Y'all tell me which one you want me to work on swatching or, you know, if you want me to just do all of them, that could be fun. Um, so that is super cool. And I got my super cool Barocco bag. Okay. I got to keep this organized so y'all can see everything. I don't want to miss anything. Oh, this is something else I'm going to have to go through. So these are tulip knitting needles. Um, and what I'm really excited about this, I did, a, they had uh, yarn and needles out, uh, just my brief knitting with it. They were fairly smooth, but what I'm super excited about is that it's got a swivel where the cable comes into the ferrule. Um, and it says that it's sharp for bamboo. So I'm gonna be looking at these tulip noodle, needle noodles. <laughs> these um, tulip needles and testing them out. Uh, I'm not sure what I should knit, but I'm gonna have to get them out of the package, see how the cable b behaves, all that fun stuff. Ooh, I've got a new issue of Nomadic Knits to go through. Y'all seem to really like the first one that I talked about, so I'm gonna go through this one. I gotta sit down and read through it so I can really, really let you know. But first off, you've got this gorgeous. I actually had a really fun conversation with the photographer that does their work. And so that was really fun. It's really neat to engage with these other professionals and talk to them about things that, you know, I can't really talk to my husband about it or anything. It's like a, it's a very niche, niche kind of thing that I do. And then I had some fun talking to the amazing people at Skissel and I got this big old gigantor yarn to play with. So this is Zumi, and it is a 30 wool, 50 acrylic, 20 nylon blend. And I wanna see, I'm gonna have to put it through not just swatching, but blocking and see how it acts. I think that this one has a lot of potential and might be really good for some of the patterns in my new book. I really love how chunky it is. Um, it might even be okay in this one. I don't know, I'm gonna have to find out, but what do you think? It's gooshy. And what else do I have? Um, oh, I stopped by, um, I think I have, and I'll link to it. I actually, the last TNNA I went to, went through his booth. His name is Charan Sachar. <laughs> Charan Sachar, it's hard to say with my nose stubbed up. And he is a company called Creative with Clay, and he does absolutely beautiful knitwear themed pottery. And I bought this. How beautiful is that? Now it would make a great teacup, but most of the time what I end up doing with these things is they are beautiful and they sit on my shelf and they end up holding needles and, and things because <laughs> I like looking at them and I don't want them way in a cabinet, but it's absolutely gorgeous. I actually think I, I have another, here, let me, I gotta get all the junk out of it. Do, 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 do. It's got lots of stitch markers in it. Yep, I have this. <laughs> I got this at my last DNA. So you can see it's this beautiful knitwear. Ooh, they match too. I'm super excited about that. So I'm probably going to end up on the shelf over here, but it's beautiful and I wanted to show it to you here. Charan Sachar. I will definitely link to him below. Let me stick this back here on my shelf. <laughs> you guys would not believe all the stuff that's on this shelf. Oh, and then I have... Um, this is one of the things I told you that Heather from Stitch Sprouts has some really cool little, um, she has a knitting washi tape that is really cool if you like washi tape and interesting uh, notions. And look, I got a tiny bag. <laughs> it says knit happens. And I like it, it's just this sweet little bag. It's got a flat bottom so it stands up so to carry like one small thing. And the one small thing I have inside it is surprise more yarn. This is Molly Girl yarn. Um, I did a hat in my book in her Rockstar XL, and this is Rockstar Sport. This is a light skein that I got just to play with, but look at that color. It's called Just the Way You Are. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh, so pretty. So, so much stuff. Now, um, 
I'm going to put links to like these, all of these different vendors, uh, websites. Um, but most of them, because they were at TNNA, for you to get these things, you're going to have to get them at your local yarn store. And if your local yarn store doesn't carry them, what you can do is say, hey, I heard about this particular thing. Can you get it? And you know, they might be able to get it for you. So now I am going to cut to some of the video I made on the floor to show you some really fun stuff. These are Bonnie Bischoff shawl pins and they're beautiful shawl pins. I will put a link so you can see, I'll probably have find her website. And you see, but what I really, you know me, look at these bags. Oh my gosh, look how cute. Um, I'm totally gonna get a hedgehog. They've got these amazing totes. They're canvas and they're made in New Hampshire and she's the artist and look i mean they're they're so look the hedgehogs ah uh, i just can't stand it so i had to show these to y'all this is dan doe from yumiko alexander and she has some absolutely beautiful and her work is so beautifully elegant obviously you know I love mosaic but she has just some incredibly well curated selections of beautiful and interesting yarns this is cotton and it's just this little like tape yarn and it's so pretty and she has the muted colors through these brilliant colors and into like bright colors and she's a designer and he's gorgeous gorgeous look at this and it's all this beautiful this is the tape i think and it makes such an interesting texture and you know it's wonderful for wearing in the summer because it's so lightweight here is a linen and you have got the mix and then you've got the bright colors that are solid but it's a chainette construction you can see and then here's some more samples. Absolutely beautiful. Look, gorgeous. And then this, oh, silk. Look at this silk. It says it's sport weight, silk cotton blend. See how beautiful this is? So this is the Silk Plus. And here is a piece. And look, it's just got these two perfectly placed cables. I had to show y'all this booth. I, a little while ago, if you remember one of my um, secret shoppers, I received a, one of these amazing stitching ornaments that was so fun and it still hangs on my tree, but there's so many, I just can't even. So you've got the amazing ornaments and then all of these incredible different wood based just everything it's so cool and cute and and just all the look at this look at the beautiful jewelry stitch marker bracelets these little dangle tool neck look at this it's got it's got a ruler a needle gauge and a wraps per inch tool Look how cute these things are. Oh my gosh. And this, I've never seen this before. It's an adjustable sock blocker. So you can make the sock the size you want. And I really think I'm gonna have to get this. Here, let's, it's up here. It's, it's a tassel maker. Okay, are you gonna focus for me? There we go, look. It's a monster and then an alpaca and a sheep to make different size tassels. That is so much. And he, if you know a bunny, he's slightly cranky. All these neat things. There we go. I don't know why my autofocus has all of a sudden decided to not auto so much. But then we're going to go around. <gasps> Look how cute this is. It's got a tiny bird. Boop tiny bird oh how cute buttons 
that you can like stitch. I mean, you knit them on, but you can decoratively stitch them, which is so cool. Stitch markers. Actually, my name tag at work is from here. And then they do, so you might've seen their beautiful work with some of your favorite fiber companies, Miss Babs. And look, hedgehog, alpaca, moths, corgi. Oh, okay, the wiener dog. I mean, really, and this, look. Mr. Pointster. <laughs> and then cool, like useful. I mean, they're all useful tools, but also beautiful because we all deserve to work with beautiful, fun tools. Okay, y'all, oink pigments. So they're uh, mixed out of both California and Indiana, and they have absolutely amazing yarn, and they're awesome. So we've got just crazy amounts of color. Oink DK, this I just squished. This Mystic, it is so unbelievably soft. And the name of this, so their names, I adore their names. Let me see if I can find it, because, oh, here we go. <laughs> Isn't that awesome? And this one down here, I loved, I'm like, I just came over and I love this color. And the name, Big Eggplant Energy. I mean, <laughs> that's awesome. Look, look at this purple. Oh, and these, look at these it's just beautiful, beautiful, bright, vibrant colors. We've got, okay, that's a heavy fingering weight. Alpaca Merino Silk. Oh, baby. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Ooh, Targhee. Targhee's interest, and this is going to make a great sock because the nylon content beautiful oh my gosh i just can't even this you know it's hard to catch on video but it's sparkle 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 so disco man nimbus let's see merino cashmere nylon always a winning combination oh look look at those blues this one this one is almost like sea glass let me get this up here. Let's see here. What's its colorway? Public service announcement. <laughs> I, these are the ones they said they are um, donating part of, part of their proceeds to the uh, Planned Parenthood, which is absolutely fantastic. I love it on that base. What do we got here? More sock yarn. so gorgeous oh i want all of it Ooh, look at this with the gray and the little bit the yellow is unexpected in that that is really cool and this is a merino bambo bambo <laughs> bamboo little skinny versions they call them pigtails brilliant and then for those spinners out there, they got the fluffy stuff. Lace weight. Oh, how I have mixed feelings about you. You're so pretty, but you hate me. Alpaca Merino Silk. Oh, gorgeous. And then the Targhee He Socks. So this is just absolutely gorgeous stuff. And then I want to show you, we're going to, okay. I gotta remind myself to walk slow because I get feedback that you get nauseous. <laughs> boop, boop, boop. Look, look at these great samples so you can see how it knits up. Purple, and we're gonna show you these earrings over here. Look at all the gorgeous samples, but look at these earrings. They are the most fun ever. Needle gauge. Oh, so cool. And then, look, it's amazing. And guess what? 
I got the hedgehog bag. Isn't he cute? <laughs> <coughs> Isn't he cute? I'm so happy with him and his purple. And he's got raspberries. I did tell her that she needed a bunny, but it's just so cute. I just could not stand it. It's a nice, heavy, here, let me scratch it for you. It's a nice, heavy canvas bag. I really like this style. You know, I like all kinds of bags, but I really like this style because it cinches down and you can carry it like that. I find them very useful. This is one of my uh, bag in a bag kind of bags. I tend to end up putting a project in this bag and then a project in another bag like this, and then those bags go in a bigger bag. But <laughs> that, so I'd have this bag and this bag, and actually I bet this bag would fit in this bag. <laughs> I, I, it's like bagception. But it's really nice, and so this was the uh, Bunny Bischoff. There we go. And then I also, as I mentioned, I got the cat tassel makers from Katrinkles. And so it's got the bunny, which makes a one inch tassel, and then the alpaca, which makes a two inch tassel. And then the sheepy sheep that makes a three inch tassel. And I'll probably need to make a video of me figuring out how the heck to actually, you know, make a tassel. <laughs> so that I believe is everything. Um, thank you so much for he to Heather for sending me the surprise. That was super fun and I really enjoyed it. I'd love to hear from y'all which of these products interest you the most so that I can kind of prioritize uh, what order I need to do all these videos in between the nomadic knits and the different needles and making tassels and playing with yarn and the Barocco yarn. It's just, there's a lot of stuff to do now. It's gonna take me months. So, I hope you enjoyed this video and this look into TNNA. Uh, if you liked it, please give it the thumbs up, click on that like button. And if you would like to be notified whenever I upload a new video, please subscribe to my channel and select notifications. Thank you so much. <laughs>